think I'm gonna keep. I just need s a way to put my Emrakul in the graveyard and we win. Could be scam if they play Dothy Void Walker. We are not in a good spot. Okay, that can be Dothy. Peter Union. Okay, so it could be some kind of reanimator as well. I just need to draw a thought seed or a cookbook. And we have plenty of those. Fable, yeah, sure. Okay, they still have six permanents here, so. I really want to play my Emrakul next turn. Please deck. Let's go. Almost. 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 So let's think about it for a second. Maybe I want to collective brutality here. Sending the trucks in the bin. Because they're going probably to arc on me here. If they go arc on. Uh, probably I'm just supposed to collective brutality. Uh, this one and this one. Target opponent returned. Yep. Creature. And we discard the Traxa. Okay. So now we can play our Asmo. Cookbook and we pass turn. We should be able to win next turn, unless they... I mean, I, we can win even if they play one Archon. Okay, so they be in the Archon and the Scalding turn, they go be to Reunion, yeah sure. It's not a problem. Another scalding turn to the graveyard. So we still know about one of the wooded foothills they have in the their hand. Okay, they gain man and they terminate the Osmo and whatever. It's not a problem. So maybe it's Let's try to take uh, the stone brain here, the brainstone. The name is so confusing. Okay, so I need to gain mana here, and then let's take uh, brainstone. Yeah, it's the right choice. And then we. Play our cookbook here. I don't know why I'm thinking so hard. They have 15 <laughs> points, so we win anyway. Okay, so let's discard our Emrakul and then we. Goryo. And that's GG.
pretty good. So, um, what do we need here? Probably the pithing needle instead of the brainstone just to stop Bren. Would be pretty good. Then, what kind of graveyard date will they bring in? They will probably bring in the ley line of void, so we need some kind of removal for that. And we can cut probably one inquisition and copy. I kinda like pawn shards here. Uh, I don't think we need fatal push uh, through the breach. Maybe it's okay, but five mana are a lot of mana. I'm not sure, maybe at least one copy of uh, Through the Breach is fine here. Let's try let let's try this way. Yeah, we have a Pithing Needle, we have a Gore's Vengeance, we have a cookbook. This is a pretty good end. I just need to draw one of my threats here. They're trying probably to look for um Ley line of void. We're going to four. That's pretty good. If they don't play ley line, we probably win. Okay, okay. So they didn't find the ley line of void. So I have two choices here playing the cookbook, trying to combo next turn. Or thought seizing them. Probably just want to thought seize them now. Because they have few cards in hand, probably they have a Ren. They have a Veil of Summary, I sure. Or maybe not. They have a Fable and a Ball, too. It's pretty bad for them. Okay, so we just need to draw one of our main threats. I'm probably just going to play. A pithing needle anyway to prevent them from drawing a Vren. Let's fetch. I don't want to draw any more lands here. Let's play the cookbook. Let's play our pithing needle naming Vren. Because they probably are going to miss land drop. Ren and six. And we can pass a turn. Okay, ju we, ju we just need to wait and draw a Trax or Embracle now. I don't think that they have many ways to stop us from doing that, from, from comboing off. Bone shards, not amazing. I think I'm gonna fetch again and buy Giganta here. Obviously, they could always draw like land creativity, and that would be bad for us. They do something now. The buzzer you are a pithing needle, yeah sure, whatever. Giving us a land here is huge because we can play Giganta next turn. That's pretty good actually. Okay, they miss land drop. I don't want to activate my cookbook, I like the cards that I have. Okay, let's play our Giganta here. Yeah, they could have drawn a ley line of void here. That'd be so that'd be so bad for them. We're drawing nothing though. They still have that bolt in hand. Let's play land and pass a turn here.
I'm keeping the cookbook in hand just because I want to have something to s discard to the Archon here. Okay, another land. It's it's not good. Yeah, let's pass. They just need to draw. Okay, bitter urine is not a bad draw for them. They just need to draw creativity here, and I'm not in a good shape. A track, so come on. Let's go. Asmo. The problem with playing Asmo here is that they have a bolt in hand. But they have a glorious vengeance, so the plan here is probably just attacking. Okay, the double bolt here, that's okay, actually. The double bolt here, okay, 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 that's, that's good, actually. I could also glorious vengeance. Giganta here. Not going to. Maybe next turn. This way, though, I can play my Asmo. I can play my Asmo here. That means that I can stop them from playing um, creativity. Okay, 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 okay. Let's pass here. Probably I'm just going to... It's a fable. I could bring back my Giganta in end and then I can bone shard one of them. Use the Asmo on the other one, and we should be okay. Okay, they shuffle back my my Giganta probably here. Yeah, I'm sure. You're getting two life, that's bad. That's pretty bad, okay, 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 okay. So what's the plan here? Let's discard our cookbook probably. No, Blood Crypt is fine. I want to be able to get rid of the arc the to the um, of the goblin shaman token here. I'd love to draw um, a daredevil here because I need more food tokens. I didn't have mana to activate my cookbook, right? Maybe I. Well, whatever. We skipped too many. Too many draws where we could have just drawn out an Atraxa or um, Grease, um, a Demracul to end the game. 
they keep both their lands their their cars in hand so that means that they have um a creativity that's pretty 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 bad because they're going to creativity for two and i cannot do much against that I can stop only one Archon here, then they're going to discard my... I think I lost here, yeah. Because I can kill one of the Dwarf's tokens, they make one Archon, and then... Unless they bring in... brought in the... Um, something else, let's see. But I think that there are still Archon in there. Yeah. There isn't much that I can draw here to win the game. It's pretty sad. They mulligan to four, but we didn't draw anything at all. Pain Tutor doesn't do much actually. I mean, let's try. They're going to flip these and... No, 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 I'm dead. I'm surely dead here. They have a way to shuffle my cards in the graveyard, from the graveyard, but we have the thought seize. I think I'm going to keep here. They kept six. Another Gorius Vengeance. I'm probably going to cycle the clue token here. Let's see if our plan B is actually good enough to win the game here. I mean, we're going to have some big construct here. Bitter Union, are you sure? So let's start by cycling. Uh, if I cycle a Daredevil here, I'm not sure that I can bring it back. So two Gorys are a bit too much, probably. Okay, let's see if I can draw an Emrakul here. Not getting much luck actually. So I need to choose if I want to play the Asmo or get some big construct in play. Probably I just want to get some construct here. We are not getting much luck uh, with these games. Okay, Ren's fine. Ren is kinda fine now. We can 
kill Ren by attacking. I don't know if I want to play the Asmo though, because they probably have. Uh... Come on, Emrakul, where are you? Because they probably have a bolt in hand. I mean, it's kind of free, because I have no other play. Total push. Yeah, sure, whatever. Let's get. I mean, we can. We could get a PT needle on the Vren. Okay. We have two removals here, so they need to kill the Asmo before comboing off. Okay, did they say to kill the construct? That's okay. That's kind of okay. Let's see if they have a bolt too. They do, yeah, sure, whatever. Okay. So I think I'm going to lose next turn if I am not able to draw anything good here. Uh, 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 so I think I have to call you the Asmo. I don't like that idea, but I think I have to. I'll play two cookbooks here. Just to get some food token. And then during their turn, if they go creativity, I gore you the Asmo, kill the tokens, and that's it. Then next turn I will go back on the um, construct plan. Yeah, three cards in hand. Okay. They don't even attack, wow. Should I kill the Asmo now? I mean, we have plenty of food tokens. Wait, 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 wait. Let me read. Yeah, why not? 
Let's do this. They can do anything else uh, this turn, so it's better this way. And having Asmo in the graveyard is better. Because they could also um, Blood Fountain or Cookbook back to end. Collective Brutality is actually not bad at all here. I mean, the, the only problem is that uh, I'm going to lose a Construct here. I'm going to lose a construct here. That's my main plan now. But I cannot do much against another. I mean, actually, if they go creativity now, they also give uh, ace to that creature. Do they lose one construct? I mean, I have lethal next turn if I go construct, construct, attack. Now let's let's just play the constructs here. Uh, playing another cookbook is fine. Yeah, probably it is fine. And then if. If it's the right play, it's not the safest one, probably. But they have two cards in hand. One must be a Dwarven Mine or a Fetch, and the other must be a Creativity. So, three cards in hand with the one that they draw now. But I think I should be fine, I mean... Computer Union, that's not one of the scariest things that could happen. Unless they go persist on the arc on Necromantia. Yeah, sure, whatever. And the Fable. Okay, but they they need to block with that creature. And I can get a, a, a Might. So, end step. Okay, it's a bit faster now. Is it because it's changing? It's like another object. I don't know. Whatever. Let's do it manually and stop wasting time. Let's see if I have little. I could have little too, because I just need to. Yeah, yeah, I have little. Okay. I just need to kill this token, and we are fine. Okay, so I can make a construct here because I drew uh, I drew a uh, land. Unless they have force of vigor in hand, which is unlikely. Uh, yeah, okay. Might. Okay, GG. Mm. I don't really like this end, so I'm going to mulligan here. 
this is even worse than the one before, so let's move again again. Okay, let's try to keep this one. I'll bottom probably these two. I have no fetch to play to be able to do something with the brainstone, but whatever. So you you won't hear any sound effect now because I'm trying to fix the lag that it's bothering me these days. And I I read that this could be a fix. I could probably activate this, the brainstone uh, in their end step, maybe trying to eat a fetch land. I need something better here. You're against creativity again. That's so boring. Here comes the Vran. If they play Vran, I cannot uh, crack the Brainstone. Actually, I can in their end step. And probably it's better if I do this anyway. This is not too bad. I mean, I've, I have a Gorio and they have the way to, to be a knight. Uh, to be in the tracks. Uh, so probably I just want to put back these and these. And now probably I just want to collective brutality. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to collect the brutality here. Cast. Play like this. Discarding a Traxa. The world of Archons. We play our Asmo. Yes. So we, we've been able to get rid of the Overground Tomb too, so that's pretty good. Now they have only Bitter Union and Fable playable here. I'll get another cookbook from this saga. Sadly I'm not able to make any construct here, but whatever. And it's sealed. So, yeah, I cannot make any construct. I need the mana. They already have a land, so I'm not too scared. I, I'm, I'm killing the the Ren is not one of my priorities here. I think that going face is a bit better. Let's get a cookbook and let's start by getting a Traxa back. So uh, there's a lot of creatures here that we can get. So, first of all, land and enchantment. Enchantment for sure. <clears throat> then I can take an artifact. There's only this one. I need to choose a land too. That's probably, go probably going to be a Bozejo. And now I need to choose a creature that's going to be Emrakul. Yeah, that should be all. So, let's attack face. I have 
two choices to make here. Probably I'm going to both Thought Caesar and Boseju. We have done the Fable though. It's not a problem, I think. So let's get rid of the Bitter Union and then I'm going to Boseju the Fable. I want to slow them down as much as possible. If they keep their Archons in hand, it shouldn't be too much of a problem here. And they're still far from casting one of the Archons anyway. Yeah, sure, whatever. So let's pass the turn here. I just need to draw another copy of Gorius Vengeance. Okay, that's their draw for the turn. Fable, you sure? I think I'm going to cycle the clue token if I'm not able to eat one of my Gorious Vengeance. Okay. So let's play the Saga here. I just need a Gorio here, that's all. And I think I'm going to cycle away the land. That's a Collective Brutality. That's not so good actually. Probably I can... I could drain them. That's not too bad, I guess. So let's go minus two, minus two, and drain them. Minus two here. Drain them. Pay and discard the cookbook. Now they need to champ here. I'm not sure if I'm playing this correctly, but they have only fetching and they're going to discard two Archon and need to be a bit faster here to win. I could also just discard the Emrakul now. They only discard one of those and the Bloodstained Mire. You sure and play another Bloodstained Mire? Oh yeah, you have persisting and you sure, whatever. So let's make a food token. I think we lost here. I don't have many plays that I can do here. They're back to five. It's a bit too much. That's way too much. Okay, let, let's just concede whatever. New Jurian Strax does nothing here. Okay, uh, so let's try to remember what we did last game. For sure, we brought in this card. And we cut this one and this one. And then... I'm not sure about this. Room command. Probably it's not worth it. I could bring in a spell bomb. I'm not sure about it though. Okay, this is a pretty awesome end, so let's keep. We should be able to win uh, by turn two. Or get close to it.
I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go for the Grizzled Bra uh, from for the Emrakul first, or you know, let's let's start by getting the tomb in play, the cookbook, and pass the turn. I will probably mill the trucks, um, discard the trucks in the end of the of their turn. Can they go top land and step at trucks? Okay, so the problem here is what do we want to do? I think that the trucks is fine. I can eat another Gorious Vengeance and be able to win the next turn. Because if I go Emrakul now, they just sacrifice one land and that's not good enough, in my opinion. I send them back, but then I need to top deck a Gorious Vengeance. So yeah, probably going Gorion now on the trucks is better. Are they really going to play a uh, Force of Vigor now? Okay, okay, okay. So let's uh, Gorio our trucks. I need another Gorio. We did not get any luck. So I need a creature. Uh, probably the Oval Chase Daredevil is fine. Thought Seize and Land. I don't know. I'm quite sure that this was the right choice. We saw 10 cards. We still have some discard spell here. I just need to draw another Gorus Vengeance to win the game. And we still have a full hand here. We can also farm a bit of food tokens here. So, what's the right choice? Do we want to make some construct here? Or some discard spells is better? I think that I want at least one construct in play, and then next turn I can uh, thought seize something away. But they could also have. Uh, they could also have a Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Start by discarding something. They have two fables, Inquisition of Kozilex. So probably I'm supposed to instant or sorcery. Then we take a one fable. We go discard oval chase. We play our Asmo. Cookbook. Play the cookbook here. And we pass the turn. They have no black mana. But I'm not scared of those Inquisition, actually. There isn't much that they can take here. If they go Fable, I kill the Goblin token and I start attacking. Making some Construct, then they will probably just destroy my Construct with the Prismari command, but that's okay. Okay. So, let's wait until you end step. That's a course vengeance, so we win. Okay, <laughs> nice stuff, deck. Really nice stuff, deck. Good job.
will drop to me. Uh, let's take a mic. It doesn't change anything actually, but let's take a mic. Okay, nice, good job. <laughs> good job <laughs> of taking that card. Okay, so I think that the side is fine. I'm not going to change anything here. Let's submit. So far I'm I'm liking the deck a lot. Yesterday I got a 4-1. The deck feels strong, uh, feels kind of solid because you have a lot of tutoring spell. I mean, you have four Profane Tutor, you have four Asmo to get your cookbooks in play, you have four Urdu Saga, so that's not a problem. The only part that you are going to miss a lot is the um, Gorgeous Vengeance. That's why you play the Profane Tutors, as you can see. So let's keep... Uh, I think that I am going to... I think that I'm going to keep uh, everything but a truck here. Because we're going to reanimate. Holy. F yeah, sure. So we need to get a uh, might as soon as possible to get rid of that ley line. So what's the plan here? I think that. Thought seizing first might be a bit better, just to get a clue of what they have. Okay, so they have a Nature's Claim, it's not a big problem, they have a Prismatic Command, I think I'm going to take the Fable and pass. Then we go Profane Tutor, it will be a really long game probably. You can take a swamp here. So we have a way to get rid of the ley line of the void, and that's what is most important here. And then we just need a Gorious Vengeance to set up our. Okay, they have no fetch, so they have no fetch, so Vren is kind of useless here. They tick up, okay. They have another Lando. Blooming Marsh. Mm, yeah. Let's play the Blooming Marsh. Let's play the Blood Fountain. So I could I could discard my Verdant Catacomb, play Asmo. I think that's good enough. Then they probably can just naturally claim my cookbook, but I at least they have an Asmo in play. And I'm cycling something. Okay, we got an Asmo. Okay, let's pass the turn. Next turn I can kill the Ley Lane of Void. And that's the first step. Okay, they have a, a fetch. They go ping on the Asmo so that they can Prismari command, kill the Blood Fountain and kill the, pris the, the, the Asmo. Is that what they're going to do? Throw two discards to you, sure, whatever. And they discard a Nature's Claim. Where is my Might? Come here, Might. So, uh, we... Play the Might here. 
and we get rid of that ley line. Okay, first step completed. Now, I think I, I should play the cookbook anyway. Because I have a bone shards to get my Emrakul in the graveyard. So if they want to waste their Nature's Claim now, I'm fine with that. We are still behind, they could go Creativity now and that would be a problem, a kind of kind of a problem. We still have a Bone Shards, but I don't think that it's, that it's enough to win, to win just the game. But if we draw a Goris Venger, we win. Okay. Mm, I'm fine with that. Archon and Vren. They go persist now. Okay, they have no persist. Gorios. That's the Mire. I should probably discard a card here. Kill the Vren. I still have a natural claim to get rid of my cookbook here, so maybe I'm supposed to wait on the cookbook, just play the Asmo, and then I can cookbook Emra Cool Gorio if I draw. If I draw Gorio's Vengeance here, I need a Saga or Gorio's Vengeance, so Profane Tutor is a bit slow, but that could be good enough too. Please don't don't go creativity now. Fuck. That's bad too. They play another Vren, yeah sure, so you don't have much here. You just have a Vren, a couple of dwarf tokens, and the natural screaming hand. To two target creature from a river to you, right? Should they attack face? Yeah. If they take this hit, at least they can go Emrakul and win the game on the spot. They have four creativity and probably at least three persist to win the game on the spot. And they need two cards to win here because I don't have any more ways to um, discard the emrakul so it's not looking that great my best draw is probably they play another okay okay i need to draw um i need to draw a nurza saga now i could have i, I forgot about gigant actually Collective Brutality. I don't think that the Collective Brutality is doing anything here. Should I keep attacking face? No, probably I need to check the Vren. It's getting a bit too close to to get the emblem here. The yeah, saga would be awesome here because I can collective brutality the nature's claim away and then play the saga.
please don't kill me. Every single turn will be like this, where I just pray and I'm dead. Ah, shit. I think that there's no way that I can recover from this. I already used my bone shard here, so I think I can concede next turn. Okay, they drew better than us. We were really close. Okay, so let's go first, obviously. Reveal Giganta, obviously. And we have uh, a decent hand I'll keep. So let's go Thoughtseize on them. Holy sh... <laughs> I need to end this game fast. I'm gonna just saga and pass the turn, probably. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'm gonna just saga profane tutor past the turn. I should probably Boseju the Turza Saga. Yeah, let's go Boseju here. I play another words a second past the turn. So they pass here. They could chamber get back the forest in hand, I don't know. They Valakut. Better. Yeah, I play a lot of permanence, please. Yeah, let's go, let's go. More, more. Okay. So, okay, we cast that card. We grab an Emra Collier. Then we. Gain one mana here. We get the cookbook. Say okay to that. We play our Hezek. We discard the Emrakul. We core you the Emrakul back. And we win. This is almost poetic. So I need uh, the mites for sure. And then what? I don't think that they have much graveyard date. At least not the one that I'm scared of. If they play a Bushuka Bok, I'm fine with that. I'm going to instant speed uh, reanimate anyway. I think that mites are fine. I don't need m anything else here, probably. I think Needle does nothing. Shadow Spirit does nothing. Expedition map. Is this a matchup where I want to win with Urza Sagas? I don't think so. This might be a bit too slow. Fatal push uh, is not that great. Le le let's go like this. Uh, this is pretty good. We are missing two pieces of our, our combo. I can get one of them with the Profane Tutor, so I'm going to keep. Let's see if, if they are faster than me. 
Okay, it's a pretty slow start, so I'm fine with that. Uh, grab a tomb because I want to be able to play the might and activate it. They have an endurance and I win the game. Okay. Yeah, they, they also have endurance. I forgot about that. But I couldn't do anything against endurance besides playing Thought Seas. That's, uh, that's good with them. Third game, we are still on the play. Let's see if I can end the game fast like before. And probably I can. <laughs> this deck is so sweet. I mean, I mean. I'm always whining about decks that end the game this fast, but being able to play these cards that are so cool is just an upside. I mean, look at these artists, it's crazy. And they love Emrakul. I'm just missing the Grizzlebrand, and that's why I'm working on the reanimator list that plays... Uh, um, that... No, I don't... Okay, that's pretty unlucky. Uh, I think I'm not going to discard anything here, so we are a bit slower now. But we should be able to do something anyway. We just need to wait uh, for the saga to crack here. So we are against towards this combo probably. And I, I was saying that I am working on the Gorios reanimator list that plays uh, the Grizzlebrand and the Atraxa. It's a pretty good deck too, but I'm not sure if I want to play it uh, if I want to play it Mardu or Esper, to be honest. Okay, so we should be able to close the game next turn. Uh, they only have 3 mana. They could have Metallic Rebuke, but maybe they want to tap out here. So let's see. Okay, they tap 3 mana and they tap out actually. That's pretty good. Okay, so I can wait until end step. I'm not going to trade the Asper Sentinel with my construct. And they seems to want to avoid that too. So we get one mana here. We take the cookbook. We discard our Emrakul and we go your Emrakul. And that's it. And do we want to pay the tax? Uh, give me one second, I need to check if I played the land here or not. No, I didn't, so I can... I'm not going to pay, whatever. I'm not going to pay. Uh, should I also... Yeah, probably I should also... Lady Asmo, get another cookbook, play the cookbook, and attack with all, yeah, whatever. So we need the mice again, mice is such a good card here, I need the Pithy Needle, because they're going to combo me, I need the Witherbloom commands, problem is that they have Solitude in the side. I don't think I want the Bone Shards, I want the Inquisitions probably, I can... Hmm. I'm not sure if I want to cut the Collective Brutality or the Blood Fountain here, maybe 1-1 one, one is right. I think the Double Chaser Devil is a good plan B or maybe I should cut the Inquisition of Kozilek. Okay. 
So we have our Gorios, we have our Piffing Needle, and we have our Thought Seas, and that's pretty good. I'm going to keep. Now I have a decision to make. I could also Thought Seas myself, but they kept 7, so they must have something here. I think that's a bit better to just Thought Seas them, get some info. They have a portable all and they have the fairy, so actually thought seizing myself would have been a bit better. I think I need to take the Teferi here. It's the only card that's actually doing something. I can wait on the Pithing Needle play, or I could also just play the Pithing Needle to get rid of a portable all here. They drew a uh, Nest Percentile, that's fine. Okay, so let's get our Urza Saga and play. Should I... Let's try to play the Pithing Needle here. I'm going to pay the tax. Let's see if they are actually smart enough to crack the fetch. They are. Okay, okay, okay. So let's call... Let's see. They're going to portable all my pissing needle anyway. So what should I call Doctor Foundry here? And Buster. They have four cards in hand. They go Urza Saga. And they play Nettle Seast, yeah. Sure. So you have a fast clock here. Not so fast actually, but it's still faster than mine. Unless they draw, nothing useful. So we are going to combo off next turn. I think I'm just going to take this damage here. Another problem is that, I mean, I have a Wizard Saga token. They have a portable all. So they could flooded strand, portable all. Play. They give another information. So they only have one mystery card in hand. That could be an Urzas. I don't know what you are. Other artifact creature gets plus one plus one. Other blue creatures you have whenever this Creature become top draw card and then discard a card, okay? Until then, target feature you control become a blue artifact here, yeah, sure. It's a funny card, That's I think that's a good card. Wait, why are there artifact creatures control the plus one plus one here? Yeah, okay. Okay, so what happens now if I draw um if I draw an Emrakul you die right unless you go for a metallic rebuke so that's not the flooded strand we saw so they still have a flooded strand and a portable in the end uh, I think I'm going to take here So I'm missing something, probably they don't have this flooded strand here. Let's see what we draw. Mm, that's not that great. Cookbook. Maybe this was a mistake. So yeah, maybe I had to get um a might here. Let's see. I'm going to make them draw a card here, but that's fine. I need to draw a lot here. 
Okay, that's an Emrakul, that's a Might, so we have an Artifact, a Creature, Sorcery, what do I prefer here? I mean, Land, and probably... Probably Witherbloom Command is better, because I want to be able to get rid of their Urza Saga target. Can I somehow get also Emrakul in play? No, I don't think so. I don't have enough mana. I don't have enough mana, sadly. So, done. Maybe it's just better to kill the Saga now. Target creature control, yeah, let's let's destroy the saga now. Okay, so now I can attack here. Uh just with the Atraxa. And they block, okay. So, next turn I can play the Blood Fountain, use the Blood Token to get Emrakul in the graveyard, even if they portable my Underworld cookbook. So this should be good enough. And then let's see if I want to actually block or not. I could block the Esper Sentinel if they decide to attack here. I'm only scared of the um, of a Metallic Rebuke. I'm going to take this 6 damage here. Another Flooded Strand, yeah sure. So let's see, they could also have a Teferi, that could be a problem. Just play another useless spell. <laughs> it's not so useless though. Okay, so they are not top their foundry combo, they are just affinity. Another one. So Emrakul here is not doing much. They have a lot of permanence. I'm still going to to make the play ob obviously. So I need uh, to play a Bloodstained Mire. I need to get a Swamp in play. I need to play the Blood Fountain. No, I'm not going to pay. Get around all this flyer is obviously hard. Should I attack with my construct too? They're going to sacrifice a lot of artifact anyway. Yeah, probably should, right? Just to get a little bit of pressure, if they sacrifice these four lands and, I don't know, these two creatures, they have four. They need to block one with one of these, so they have the Nettle Seas, that's a one, two, three. Yeah, let's attack with all. Maybe I'm going to lose, but whatever. I want to attack with all. Math is for blockers, and I'm no blocker here. Six permanents are a lot of permanents, actually. Portable all. Okay, they're shrinking the net assist a lot. You could also re-equip, but I'm not. I, I'm confident that they're not going to be able to kill me next turn. Okay, so they are missing one. Okay, they block here and they are basically dead here. Okay, so let's 
activate the cookbook too, get a novel chase their devil. Yes, okay. That's pretty good. Not gonna lie. So they only have an Urza Saga to two and the Nettle Seast. So if they go to Fairy Bounce if they go to Fairy Bounce here I can I don't I don't know, let's see. The Fairy Bounce might be a problem. Four mana Urza, so you have an Urza. What does Urza do right now though? A Thopter too, yeah sure. So you have a Chomper here. Blue mana, Relic of Progenitus. That's a, that's a bad thing to see. So let's play this Mart. Target player means three cards. Then you return a land card from your graveyard to your end. Destroy target non creature, non land permanent. Okay, so I think I'm going to activate the first two. Let's play uh, Verdant Catacombs first. Then let's cast these and mill and destroy target non creature, non land permanent with mana value two or less. So I'm the one who mills and the relics goes away. So they need to activate the Progenitus now, and if I mill uh, an Emrakul, I win. Or also an Atraxa. Okay, they draw a card, yeah, sure. We got only lands here. That's bad. Holy, that's so bad. That's so bad. So I think I'm just going to attack here. They go nettle seized. Uh, they need to block here though, so they lose one damage point. They could also grab um I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to win this. I'll be honest with you. Let's not forget about Giganta this time. But the problem here is that um, they have a lot of power here. They could reach 10 easily. Okay, they are making a construct too. Yeah, sure. So a 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Eight. If they grab a shadow spear, that's scary. Yeah, that's a shadow spear. So they can equip the shadow spear, equip the nettle cyst. They still dead to an emrakul, right? They go white mana, portable all. What do you portable all though? The cookbook? The creature. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. One last card in hand. Moon snare prototype. Okay. Six. If they equip here, can they equip here too? Yeah, probably they can. Probably I'm just dead here. Doesn't cost two here to equip? What are we waiting for actually? Okay, that's a 13 13, and that's enough to win the game. Sage. So even if I add the creature back to block, uh, that wouldn't be enough. Uh, I don't think that Pithy Needle is actually good here. Maybe Bone Shard is a bit better. Because they are not on the combo. So Pithy Needle can name only Nettle Cyst. 
relic of progenitus could the name relic of progenitus do so let's keep it in okay let's play first count to end and this is a pretty good end too so i'm only scared of a portable old tour turn one but i think that i must risk it and anyway if they portable old i can just beam the trucks anyway i should be fine there shouldn't be too many turn one place that can actually stop me here i mean even relic is not a problem drum yeah sure Do you have an ornithopter? Do you have a man mite? Do you have nothing? That's pretty good. Let's see if I can get an Emrakul too. So I need another Gorio and an Emrakul here. Emrakul, Gorio, that's it. A sorcery too, and the land that's going to be a swamp here. Done. So they need something this turn, otherwise they are dead next one, next turn. Atrakis is such a cool card. I was, going, uh, I was going to sell one of my attraction, the only one that I um, that I won from the sealed event, but then I decided not to. That was probably the right choice, and they bought two <laughs> more copies of it. Uh, they're going to bounce my cookbook. That's uh, unfortunate because I'm not sure. How to get past the Teferi now? Because I cannot. Uh, I could draw an Atrax on another Gorgeous Ranges, it's not good. I don't know actually. I don't know how to get out of this situation here. Because I cannot Gorius Vengeance the Emrakul because of the fairy. I have no easy way to kill the, the fairy. I could play a lot of artifacts and that's it. I could just make a construct here. That's a problem. That's for sure a problem. I think that making a construct is a bit better. Maybe I had to play the Wither Bloom command, destroy the Spring Lift Drum and me and myself. So I target non creature, non land permanent. Don't know, I don't know. Don't know. Uh, that the fairy is such a problem. Okay, and make a construct. I could get a pissing needle and stop my words of saga that would be I I, I probably had to activate the words of saga before. I don't know. They mm. 
there are a lot of things that they could do just to win the game on the spot, probably. I could try to Soul Guide Lantern. Yeah, okay. That is not so scary. That is not so scary. So I just need to... How many artifacts are going to play though? Stop, please. Stop. I don't really like Wither Bloom Command, but it's needed here. Are you going to cast now? No, I. Oh, come on. Because I pressed OK, but it wasn't on the end step. <sighs> nice. Nice. Then we lose. What, what is going on? I hate m Magic Online so much. So what's the right choice here? Pithing Needle the Teferi probably. Yeah, I have no idea. This was such a problem. I, I could have had a 6-6 a six, six to attack the Teferi now. Ah, uh, wow. Okay, okay. Let's try to, to win anyway. I can destroy the Shadow Spear now, so it's not so much of a problem. We just need to chill, they need to protect the fairy. Right, so we just need to get rid of the Shadow Spear. Maybe we can also uh, draw, um, send to the graveyard. Um, yeah, sure, portable all too. On the pithing needle or on the construct? The pithing needle. I want to get rid of the pithing needle, yeah, whatever. Okay, they're not going to attack. Let's chill for a second. They just need to eat an Atraxa to the graveyard. I cannot play Profane Tutor right now, it's too risky, because I, I cannot cast it with the Fairy on board, so... Should I Witherbloom command the Portable All or the Shadow Spear? I think he won't... I think I want the Piffing Needle back. They still have a Soul Gate Lantern, so even if I, even if I, no, let's let's get rid of the Soul Gate Lantern. Target player, that's me. Soul Gate Lantern goes away. Okay. 
Let's see if I get an emerald. Wow. That's what I wanted. Fuck. Okay, we got a land, so we're just saga and play. Now we're probably just going to thought seize them. Okay, this was a good thought seize at least. Let's play a cookbook. We have a 5-5, five five, but they have an 8-8 eight eight, uh, with a uh, lifelink. I mean, I could also win with a Noval Chaser Devil here. They only have lands. They have the Teferi that is surely scary. Next turn is going to bounce my Construct token, but we'll have other Construct tokens here. If only, if only I didn't pass turn like a... <laughs> whatever, whatever, whatever. We can still win. There are ways to win this game. One of them is them not drawing anything at all. But if they drew a Urza here, they're pretty... What is that? Okay, they're going to steal one of my creatures. Uh, further if there is equipment, touch it. Yeah, sure. Wow. What a good draw. Okay, I don't think that I have any way out here now. So it's not even until you control the thieving skydiver. It's it's just their creature now. Maybe I still can. I can still draw an attractor here. To see you. Does Buzeju do something here? I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm going to die next turn, probably. Well, whatever. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight at best. They bounce their creature to draw. Three cards, yeah. What is that? An Urza? I can consider Urza, yeah, sure, whatever. Let's go to the last game. So it was a close league. I mostly lost because of my uh, decisions. Here, probably having. At least one more construct would have been better. And we lost one game because we didn't draw anything at all. So I think I'm pretty satisfied anyway by this league. Last game we are on the draw. Let's get Giganta to end. So, this would have been actually a good end if only I had a black source. Yeah, we, do, we can do something with this end too. They're thinking super hard about what to get. T 
team vents. <coughs> and obviously we got Ragavan in play, yeah sure. <laughs> but I have an Emrakul. The problem here is that uh, I have to play around the counter. That's not going to be easy. They stole one of my Daredevil. Yeah. So I need to I need to play my saga and play collective brutality here now. Uh minus two minus two and let's go discard here. They're going to counter spell it, okay. That's a consider though. Maybe they're looking for um a spell pierce. That could be the case. Dress down <coughs> dress down, that's funny. That's funny. Because I cannot get rid of the dress down. <laughs> They're going to destroy all my construct too, and I'm going to die to the Dragon Rage channelers. So we need to play this super smart. They also have an Otawara to get rid of my Emrakul. This is just a perfect end against us. Protection from spells, these are one or more color, but these two are abilities. One stops the, um, the haste effect, and the other just bounces the creature to end. It's pretty bad. So let's think what should we do here. I'm probably just going to make a construct here and then play another saga next turn. If they decide to to go for a dress down on my construct, I'm only happy about that. We have five turns to do something about this uh DRC here. Okay. They dash Ragavan. Of course, I'm going to construct block here. They can always play the Anolit, but I'm kind of fine with that. The Anolit, you sure? So they don't have anything up now. They actually do because they hit me with the Ragavan. They have to dress down up. Unless they play something from my deck of from there. It's an Atraxa, fuck. So they have a dress down. But they have a Thought Seize, baby. Let's go. Holy fuck, this is so good. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So, add one mana, get a cookbook, play a land, okay to that, both seas, and they're going to play now the dress down probably, but at least uh, we get this out of the equation, whatever, okay. Okay, I was thinking about doing something now, so we... Um, can I play a creature this turn? Probably not, so I need to take the Ragavan, right? Yeah, let's take the Ragavan. I want them to use all their mana to avoid the... I 
think I'm going to use this mana. Okay. So they have only if they go land attack that's bad but if they go expressive iteration okay that's kind of good I just need one hit from my okay expressive iteration that's still pretty good I just need to hit them one time with the emrakul before dying <laughs> Another Mishra's Bubble. They're going to draw a lot of cards here though. They decided to keep that on top. They play the Otawara. So they have a counter spell probably. If they go counter spell, then I'm dead. Holy <laughs> shit, these thoughtsies. Uh, yes, let's go thoughtsies, I guess. Let's go thoughtsies. And I'm going today to a bolt, though. But I'm more scared of. Let, let's go, Thought Seize. If you want to bolt me, that's fine. They only have a lot of creatures, uh, counter spells. <laughs> Obviously. So, how can we beat this hand? I cannot, right? I cannot win against this hand, right? I need to take this spell snare. And then I need to play around the spell pierce next turn. I can eat the food token now to survive at least one more turn. So I play the land. I cannot get Gorios into play in any way, so let's pass the turn here. The problem is that if they play. Maybe I'm still alive. Maybe I should eat the food token now. Yeah, probably yes. Because he... They could have bolted me. Okay. Three lives. You play your Merktide and pass the turn and that's it. And you concede. I don't believe that you draw any any kind of counter spell. Uh, let's get a tomb tapped. Okay, so draw. Tap for mana. Search for something that's. Uh, Book, I guess. Let's bring back the chase devil to end. Let's. I'm missing a piece. Okay. Let's discard the Emrakul. Let's play our beloved Gorgeous Vengeance finally. Please don't play Counterspell. I, I'm, I'm going to rage quit here. <laughs> I played around every single... Okay, let's go! What a game, what a game. What a game, nice, 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 perfect. Okay, last uh, last game. So we need the Fatal Push, probably. Uh, I think uh, that this is a game where we need the Expedition Map 2. We are going to win, probably, with the Urza Saga anyway. Then, what do we need? I think the spell bomb might be fine just to slow them down, but it's not so needed, I guess. And they're probably just going to play unlicensed earth, so I need to do something about that. I don't like their bone shards here. If they play an early 
Merc Tide, mm, I think we are going to lose anyway. I want the discard spells, probably I don't want the blood fountain. I'm thinking about bringing in something to stop the unlicensed stirs, actually. Like I could bring in the Witherbloom command. But what should I cut here? I think I want to keep the Asmo in. Maybe I can cut one Profane Tutor. And maybe one of the big creatures here. Probably the Atraxa. Let's try. Okay. Uh, I cannot keep this end, sadly. Okay, this is a pretty good end. So, I think I'm going to get rid of the Atraxa here. I need a way to put the Emrakul in the graveyard and then I need some discard spell to play around the, the counter spell. Or Urza Saga, that'd be nice too. Yep. Just like that. So I'm gonna get hit by Aragavan a bunch of times here, sadly. But they are on the play, so... Can't do much. I could draw a Witherbloom command. A collective Brutality would be fine too. So they already have a counter spell somewhere there. Okay. Rakavan on the play on in that deck is such a strong play. You can just win the game by playing Ragavan turn one and then protect him, protect it with a lot of counter spells, and that's it. You don't need to do anything else. You play Blood Moon. Yeah, sure. That's obviously a big problem here. So we are super behind now. I need to top deck something next turn, uh, hoping that they don't have any counter spell here. So in kind of that next turn, I need to draw. <sighs> need to draw anything at all here. This is n not what I wanted to draw. Let's go last game. So they have um, Blood Moon too. I don't know, maybe something like this is a bit better. I don't know. Let's let's try this. Okay, so we have some interaction, but that's it. 
I'm on the play. I don't think that I want to. I don't think that I want to keep all the interactions. I want to have a more uh, proactive plan. Just like this, probably. Keep and send back one Gorio. Let's fetch for um, Swamp. There it is. Then next turn, if I. If they play creature, I go with the Bloom command. If they keep a, a counter up, then I just wait. But if I draw an Emrakul now, I win. I just need a big creature. Give me a big creature deck. Give me a big creature. Let me win. That's a collective brutality. That's not bad though. I'm not sure if I want to. Probably I want to Wither Broom Command here. But I'm not sure about that. Because I could just collective brutality yeah let's collective brutality here target creature and target opponent yeah so that's opponent that's a creature they have a consider they have only this wow that's really bad that's a really bad end so we need to be fast but we are not in a scary position now Obviously they they have a land, yeah sure, whatever. Um uh, it's not so scary though. I mean I just need the Emrakul, please. Attracts Emrakul anyone. A wire might, yep. A wire might, yep. So I could Should I cast this now? Probably right, because I see that they have no other play so probably it's the right choice mill three and this one so choose a player to do what <laughs> to, to mill i guess yeah okay i hate when, when this happens so we have nothing here i am going to take a verdant catacombs Play the Verdant Catacombs. Maybe I could also get a Might in play. Nah, let's wait. I don't want to give them knife triggers randomly. Expressive iteration. I just need to draw one Emrakul and that's it. The game's over. The game's over. Insurance sure bubble, yeah, missed land drops, please, I need it. Uh, I probably can yield uh, until end step. They're going probably to discard the work I guess. Maybe then only two could be an option here. A land, so you have actually access to the third land, yeah, that's, let's see it. You see what I have on top of them, won't keep that on top. I won't keep that card on top though. You could have a counter spell now. Playing against Merktide is so boring though. It's so boring. I hate it. Okay, please Emrakul, it's your time to shine. They have seven copies of good cards in the deck, but mm, actually I prefer drawing a blood crypt here, obviously. So now they have an it up, they consider they could blood moon next turn. And if they blood moon next turn, maybe playing the might was better, but wouldn't have changed anything because they have an it, they can play land and it, my might, and then play blood moon. So if they go blood moon now. They cannot play the Goragavan, yeah. Not dashing, and they play unlicensers. That is not a problem. That is not a problem.
I still can draw a Miracle. Yes. Okay, so we played the might here. Damn, what, what a roller coaster of emotions here. Excel the unlicensers, play Emrakul, win the game. Nice. Nice. Excite it, yeah, sure. And get Emrakul in play. Connive as much as you want. You are not playing Force of Negation. You are not playing Force of Negation. Let's go. Okay, that was a pretty good show of the deck. Um, we lost two games, but they were really close. We are a sort of combo deck that can get things done with Asmo and Saga 2. So we have a plan B that's a pretty good plan B. Most of the decks cannot handle uh, this plan B. Like Scam is pretty weak too. Uh, Urza Saga and Asmo. Surely they can play Blood Moon, but I mean they have they they, they need to have the Blood Moon, uh, otherwise they just lose to to Urza Saga. And we, as you could see, this deck is pretty solid. I tried uh, some version of Astraxa, Grizzleburn, and Emrakul, but I think that this is the the best one. Just cause uh, you can do your combo more consistently than other decks. And that's it. You will see on the channel probably other leagues uh, with Atraxa. I'm not sure in if in this shell or uh, in other shells, but stay tuned for more content of this kind. Thanks again. See you next video.